Hey everybody and welcome to Koh Lan. This is an island off the coast of Pattaya here in Thailand. It's one of the popular day trips from Bangkok and also Pattaya for sure. You can actually see Pattaya right there behind me. I'm at my hotel now and uh, gonna be staying a couple nights here. A lot of people just spend the day here and go back in the evening, but yeah, I think it's worth spending at least one night here. But anyway, I came here to uh, do some relaxing and check out some of the beaches here. I hear they're pretty good. So yeah, let's check it out, see what it's like here. Let's do the thing. First of all, to get to Koh Lan, you need to take a boat from Pattaya City. Either the ferry for 30 baht per person, or a speedboat for about 300 baht per person. The ferry takes around 40 minutes to get to the island. Speedboats will get you there in less than half the time. There are a few dozen hotels and homestays in Koh Lan. Uh, none of them are luxury, so don't come here expecting that. The lowest price you'll find per night is about 30 to 35 dollars, and it just goes up from there. Yeah, this is what a uh, $35 room gets you. Pretty basic, but get a balcony and it's clean. That's the important thing, plus free breakfast. Of course, the best way to get around the island is to rent your own scooter. There is also the option of taking uh, motorbike taxis or song tows, which is like a collective taxi, but definitely the best way is your own scooter. Let's go. Of course the best thing to do on Koh Lan is go to the beaches here. I actually stumbled on this one by accident by uh, trying to get to another beach. But this one's name is Tai Yai Beach. It's actually quite small but it's super nice. I like it. The color of the water is amazing. You know, plus it's a, just a little cozier and some great photo opportunities. If you're adventurous enough, you can try different things like jet skiing, parasailing, banana boats, things like that. So, I really like this beach, Tayai Beach. But now I want to show you the most popular one here. See what that's like. So we have made it to Tawain Beach, the most popular one on Koh Lan. During the day, it can get super busy. I think even more so on the weekend. So um, yeah, definitely prepare for that. Yes, the water is beautiful and the sand is really nice. You've got all kinds of services like food and um, you have 7-Eleven. I think you have hotels here too. So yeah, it's a very lively place to be here on Koh Lan. You can also get a direct ferry from Pattaya right here to this beach if you want to save some time and uh, just want to stay here and not rent a motorbike or anything. The cool thing about this beach is that the water is pretty shallow for quite a ways so it's great to bring a family here if you have small kids. But if you want to relax on Koh Lan, this is not the beach to come to. I'll show you some better ones. So this is Tien Beach. I'm actually really impressed by this one. The water is gorgeous, blue and calm. There's plenty of space to veg out and there's actually plenty of shade too if you want to stay out of the sun, protect your skin a little bit. This is not near as crazy as Hawaiian Beach. 
Uh, I am really liking this one. I think this is probably my favorite so far. It's actually a fairly big beach and there's not a full ton of people during the day, but it's, uh, there's definitely plenty of room for everyone and uh, it's pretty good. Another cool thing about this place is that there's a sandbar that kind of stretches out this way, makes for pretty shallow water. Great for wading and for photos. Just a little ways down the road from Tian Beach is the second largest beach on Kolan. It's called Samai Beach. I think this one has a coral reef for snorkeling and it has a bunch of the services that Taiwan Beach has, but it's a little more relaxed and yeah, not as much of a circus as Taiwan. Right now I'm here a little late in the day, so there's not too many people left. One of the cool things about Kolan is that most people just take day trips here and they leave, you know, late in the afternoon. So if you're staying the night, then you get the beaches to yourself when uh, the sun sets. beach is on the south side of the island. It's called Newall Beach. Uh, it's not the most popular one, probably not the most beautiful one, but it's definitely drawing a crowd and it's a good place to spend some time soaking in the sun. And the water here is actually really nice, pretty clear. To catch the sunset on Kolan, you want to be on either Samai Beach or Tian Beach. I suggest the latter for a little more beauty and more relaxed vibes. There is just not many people here and the sunset golden hour is epic. Tian Beach is definitely the place to be in the evenings here because no one's here. Get it all to yourself and you get an epic sunset. Love it. When you want to eat here in Kolan, well, the most concentration of food places are around the main pier. Uh, that's where you'll get the cheapest food, the street style food, and uh, probably some of the best tasting ones too. There's also restaurants around the beaches, but they're gonna cost you more. But yeah, the street food is where I like to hang out personally. Kolan is also pretty well known for its seafood. Luckily, if you drive along the main road of the town, then it's pretty easy to find some great seafood barbecue. Get a whole fish for about $3. Get a kilo of shrimps for about, you know, $9. Pretty cool. This is definitely the sauce you need right here. Spicy, acidic, and delicious. 
put it in this little lettuce wrap here with some noodles. Bon appétit! So oh, good, you guys. Especially the sauce. The amazing thing about Thailand is the sauce. So good. More. And the fish is so soft and tastes so fresh. You should 100% order this when you're on Koh Lan. It's only 100 baht. I hope this video informed you of what to expect on the beautiful island of Koh Lan. I also hope it inspired you to add it to your Thailand itinerary because it is definitely worth a visit. If you found this video to be helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome content from all around the world. Always when I'm about to film. Get the noise going.